I say goodbye to Rashina, and Manoush takes me on a chef's tour of Versova's fish market. This is people's homes, eh? No, thank you. I'm good, man. Wow, this is unbelievable. This is wild. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Every vendor is a woman, and they're dressed in these colorful and beautiful saris with this jewelry. And they're just selling their fish. Is this where you come and buy the fish every day? It's crazy, but everyone has a smile. It's wonderful. It's exciting. A jinga? Jinga prawns. So prawns in Hindi is jinga. In Italian, sono gambari. Gambari. And this? How do you say it? Pucci. 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 Yes. In English, lobster. In Italiano, arrabosta. Chef Manoush and I kind of have this little thing going. He's teaching me the Hindi names of fish, and I'm teaching him the Italian names. We're having fun. How do you say this in Hindi? Makla. Huh? Makla. In Italiano, calamari. In English, squid. Wati. I thank Chef Manouche for everything and venture off on my own. I'm Duke back in Mumbai. Antonio has invited me and some expats over for a Sunday pranzo, or a typical Italian style lunch. I hear there's a ferry ride that can take me back to the city. A shortcut. What could be better? Like the subway, it's chaos. There's like no order, no organization. I don't know who I'm supposed to pay. It's crazy. It's packed. People are coming off, coming on, motorcycles, babies crying. It's a friggin' mess. We're about to take off and a fight breaks out. I later find out one guy spilt something on the other guy's shoe. Imagine if one was sleeping with the other's wife. Antonio invites me over his place for a Sunday pranzo. It's that traditional Sunday lunch that every Italian looks forward to. <laughs> Italian expat community is tight. They stick together. Antonio's a real Italian mama's boy. His mom sends him care packs of Italian food every month. We're talking anchovies, artichokes, sun-dried tomatoes, salumi, cheese, pasta, olive oil. It's like an Italian supermarket. Being in Mumbai, it's hard to get these Italian ingredients. For me, this is like gold, and he's sharing it with all his friends. See, this is the thing about Italians. Italians will always argue. <laughs> because every one of us think that uh, his own mom was the, the number one. Yes, so that's the point. Her way I was the way. Pasta is a big deal to Italians. To decide which type of pasta we are going to cook with, it's like we need to have a voting system. Spaghetti or penne or pacchi? How do you make it? Carbonara. 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 No, 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 no. Basically, we can do, you know, the spaghetti or the paccheri. Paccheri, which is a typical pasta from Napoli. I love it. So you can vote. Uh, but we decide. Paccheri. Paccheri. Paccheri, paccheri. It was decided. We head to the kitchen to make paccheri with fresh prawns from Versova.
It's hard to believe that in a city with millions of Indians, Mumbai also has a small Italian community. Forza, iniziamo la parte seria. This is the serious part of the preparation. Uh, the shrimp in the fridge. Yeah, sure. Gambari. It was fun cooking in that kitchen. It was flashbacks to being in Italy. Some tricks. A galley-style kitchen. Oh, guys, what are we uh, what just cramming in there? Doing whatever they need to do to get the dishes done. Olio. Andiamo? Sì. Uh, cut up some tomatoes. Guys, uh, molto piccante. Molto piccante. Molto piccante. Okay. That's, that's Italian masala. <laughs> Garlic <laughs> and pepperoncino. This is the smell of Italy. Yeah. Garlic, oil, pepperoncino, and tomato sauteing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut up some parsley. So guys, are we going to do spaghetti or pacchero? Pacchero, 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 right? Yeah, put the parsley in. What about the wine, guys? A little bit of white wine. Hi. Put salt? Yes. On the fish? So first salt, salt oh, the fish. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sure. No, it's OK. This and the salt. Look at okay, Jacopo. For a Milanese, he's OK, eh? The thing is, the boys from Milan usually are, you know, they're little mama's boys, yeah, you know? Really. <laughs> yeah. Look at the, at the shrinks over there. Oh, how they did. And you know, when it comes to food, every Italian has something to say. A bit more, a bit more. Guys, and that is it. Out, out, out. We already said that. I think the fish. Bye, bye, bye. The dishes are all coming together. We lightly batter and fry up the fish from Versova and add a little parmigiano to the pacchetti, which is often debated. Cheese with seafood? But trust me, a little does work. This is a typical fish here in Mumbai. As I was looking for bakala or yeah. cod, you know, to do a fried like our mothers do it. I yep. couldn't find it here. <laughs> okay. But the guy said this is the next best thing. So Don't ask me what it's called. <laughs> what can we, Antonio? I think it's a uh, basa fish. Basa. Basa fish. Fried with um, extra virgin olive oil, yes, yes. which is good for you know frying as well. A little bit of salt. Si mangia. Eh, vai. Si mangia. Ecco. This is carbonara. Facciamo i piatti? Sì, forse. Ma qua ogni cavatappi conosce il padrone suo. No, è buono. Who wants wine? Mm. By Italian? There's nothing like pasta. No. Very good, very good. It was quite a challenge. It was a challenge. I keep on going to these places, sophisticated stuff, but still, going back to pasta is the best. This camera is delicious. And how about the packet? You said actually you've never had the packet. Yeah. It's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> So, to Italians in Mumbai. Italians in Mumbai. Yeah. Yeah. Mumbai guys. And what's an absolute must after every Italian meal? Un caffè from la caffettiera. Eh, questo ci voleva. In Hindi they say shall we? Which means shall we go? Eccoci. A bit of coffee. Finally. Thanks, girl. We end the meal classic Italian style. Espresso and digestive. Ho conosciuto francesi, tedeschi ed inglesi. 
I show everyone some video from playing soccer the day before. And then, of course, Italians bring out the chanting. And who's at the butt of the joke? The Neapolitans. Everyone picks on Napoli. Napoli, man. Napoli. 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 Napo